this was how it was done 90 years ago. It's like taking a step back into time. Wood and coal are loaded into huge engines. Turning a wheel will turn on a light bulb. These machines were created with nothing more than a pencil and a piece of paper and a drafting board. It was art. And that's what visitors at the steam and engine show will experience. This is the drive bell. This is going up to that shaft. Then it goes to that shaft, that shaft, and that shaft. David Britt has spent 10 years creating this display of what a machine shop would look like back in 1900. It was a lot of fun. Some of it was a challenge because uh, I didn't really have, I just had to take uh, information from different people and maybe look in some books. Many of the machines are more than a century old. A lot of blacksmiths would have these. And this is what their apprentice would be doing. They'd be drilling holes just like this. Each machine out here has its own story, and most of them move. Because this is probably the, one of the last of its kind that's operating. It's hard to miss the Corliss steam engine. Its flywheel is 12 foot in diameter and weighs 20,000 pounds. Here on Steam Engine Row. In the 50s, I mean, it was kind of the centerpiece of their park. Jeff Detweiler is keeping this machine in motion. It was a staple at the Joyland Amusement Park in Wichita. Right next to it, a steam traction engine built in 1925. We build uh, these engines, are, they're just like a locomotive, just like a regular locomotive off the rails, where we burn coal and we, we boil water to create steam, which then we turn into energy. These men hope by seeing these engines, future generations can appreciate what it took to do chores that are much easier now.